So what I have here is a super saturated solution in this big one liter Erlenmeyer flask. And what I'm looking to do is hopefully, if I made this right, uh, be able to show how this super saturated solution actually will come out of solution as I pour it. So as we've talked about, this is a solution of sodium acetate and it makes super saturated solutions very easily as long as I, what, I heat this solution and keep adding more and more sodium acetate until it's almost all sodium acetate. So it's a tremendous amount of sodium acetate, just a very little water in this, believe it or not. And what I did is I cooled this gently. So as the solubility curve dropped, okay, the amount that should be able to dissolve by the solvent of water has decreased substantially. And you'll see how much it decreased. Now, supersaturated solutions are unstable, which means they're eventually going to come out of solution. So um, if I let that stand at some point, the water's going to evaporate off enough to precipitate, or something inside will cause it to precipitate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of crystals of sodium acetate uh, right next to the Erlenmeyer. And as I pour, those seed crystals are going to be essentially organi organizers. They're going to help the sodium acetate arrange itself. Because right now what I have is a soup of acetate and sodium ions. And that soup should be crystallizing, but they don't have any organization. All they need is to be put in organizational pattern or put a couple of ions in a pattern of the crystal. And having that organization, that seed crystal, the crystal will come outward in all directions. So I'm going to add a seed crystal. So again, this might work really well. This might work uh, poorly. It depends. It's really touchy to come out. So I'm just putting out a few seed crystals so that when the liquid hits it, okay, it has already organized crystals to grow from. Right now, this solution doesn't have any organization. So if I drop a seed crystal in that or I pour it onto the seed crystals, having the organization right there, you can build a crystal from already a crystal being there. All right, so let's do this. Now, watch for, if it starts to work, it's excellent, but it might go back into the beaker. I'm trying to do this so that as I pour, I can have my um, precipitate come upward, like a little mountain. However, it might go back into the beaker, or it might be too slushy at all. It's really a very touchy demonstration, so let's see what happens. And there it is solidifying. And this is working good. <laughs> it's working well. Oh, now it's going back into the beaker. Oh, wow. What? It's coming back into the beaker. Just quickly dump, dump it all out. I'm left with the crystal and solid in the middle. Now there's still some water. You can see it dripping. Now you can see that there's very little water in this solution. It looked like it was clear, right? So that little bit of water is able to dissolve this. Yeah, it's okay. So there we go. And kind of cool if you can see in the camera, maybe. And the camera froze. Um, you could see nope. that <laughs> the crystalline, you can see how the, how the, um, the seat, it went out this way, look carefully, how the crystalline pattern went outwards. So that you can see how the, the crystal formed once it had some organization and outward. So a nice example of a um, super saturated solution coming out, of solution, coming out and precipitating into a solid. And it kind of did both things. You got uh, both for the price of one going back into the beaker and a little bit of a, a mountain for me to clean up. Okay? So pretty cool. And it's very warm. It's the same um, material that we had in the hand warmers. Okay? And anything that solidifies 
okay, actually gives off heat, everything. All right, so in any case, 